fourth chapter. First John. And I want to start in verse 7. Verse 7. Even though I know I'm a text strip, strip it's coming out of first John. Fourth chapter, verse 20 through 21. But you can't get the totality of the depths of what God is saying to us unless you go all the way back. Really, you have to go back to chapter 2, verse 28, all the way through chapter 4, verse 21, because it's one thought. When I looked at 1 John, and we know that 1 John is written by Peter. Peter, apostle of Jesus Christ. It is believed at this time he was the last one of the disciples who was an apostle who was living at this time. And in the process of being in the presence of God, touching, living with, walking with, talking with, John developed a deep you heard the pastor say this morning, in love, in spirit, in God's word, there shall be a deepness in each one of us as God's children. And when we have that deepness, it makes us hungry so that we what? We acquire and we make sure we work and we study and we meditate and we pray so it will make our relationship more deeper and more stronger and therefore it will be more abundant. Yeah. Because that's where God is calling us to. And the reason why God is calling us to this in this season, which the pastor have already said, truly the harvest is plentiful. But the labels are few. Yeah. And how do we know? Because we're looking around among all of us. But he didn't tell me to go out and make labels. He didn't tell me to call. He didn't tell you either. He said, pray that the Lord will send workers into what? The vineyard. So therefore, there are needs. And then the process of being needs in God's house. And before I get into further, because one thing my sister Diane always tell him, my aunt to tell me, say, she said, when you get to talk, when you get to talk. But let's go to the scripture. The 20, the 20, the 4th, 1st John, 4th chapter, verse 20, let's back it up to 19. 19 through the 21, 21st verse. And it reads as accordingly. And I am reading out of the application Bible. It says, when love, we love. We love because he first loved what? Oh. Us. Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brothers and sisters whom they have seen Cannot love God. Right. It's not possible. That's what say. It's not possible. You cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he has given, who is he? God has. God has given us this command. Anyone who loves God must must, must also love their brothers and sisters. Amen. 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 That's enough right there. His word. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say what Jesus said. I'm only going to say what the Father have, have, will have me to say. When we start back at the seventh verse, John wrote these letters to the church. It was a Gentile congregation.
congregation, several congregations. And in the process of writing these letters, there was a problem in the church. Amen. Jesus had been gone there, imagine, we was in possibly in the second to the third generation. And as Jesus was out the scene, he had already transitioned and went back into heaven. And you have John, who the last of the disciples, it, he wrote the book of John, first, second, and third John, prior to him being what? Put, uh, put into exile on the hour of Patmos. But he was trying to remind God's people remind Christians of who Jesus was. That Jesus truly was the son of the living God. That Jesus truly did come to this God himself, came into this earth as a man, human, and yet he was God all the time, divine. And therefore you had those who came along to try to what? Break error, a lie to the people to say he couldn't have been man, human, God, and divine. And John said, yes, yes he was. He said, because I was there. He said, I walk with God. Yes, sir. I talk with God. I ate with God. He said, and guess what? And when he ascended, he went back to his rightly place. Amen. Why Amen. did Jesus come into the earth? Mm. Why? So that you, you and me would know how we can truly live on this earth mm -hmm. and walk in love with all of this sin. Amen. Amen. That's it. That's it. With all of this sin. Mm. With all of this wickedness, with all of this evil, he came to give us an example of, to reassure us, to bring us assurance, and to bring us a boldness with confidence, and let us know that it can be done. Yeah, yeah. But guess what? It's our choice. Come on, come on. That's a personal choice. Yeah. yeah. It is our choice. If we truly want to live the life that God's called, a day, a permit, a sign, each one of us to live. Amen. And we have to do it in one word. Love. Love. What makes the world go around? Love. We know that we're in a season. We're in a time of life that right now we are dealing with some of the most hateful, yeah. Yeah. wicked, yeah. evil. Yeah. But y'all, he said love, hate the sin, but love the person. Yeah. Yeah. The problem that we have is we don't know how to discern a disciple. Come on. Yeah. See, I have got to. I have been really struggling because I asked God to paint me a picture so that I could help paint a picture to you yes, who are listening. Yeah. There are four different types of love. Come on. Four different types of love. And as this baby, mm -hmm. the first love is storage. Mm. S-C-O-R-G-E. Family love. Yes. All right. Family love. Yes, ma'am. It goes with feeling. This baby can feel who loves him. And from that, it is developed into a toddler, to a teenager, to a adult. That love stays with us continuously. Yes, it never leaves. Yes. Then we have Eros. Mm -hmm. Means sexual. Attractive. Yes. That we are so free with. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that the only way is blessed mm -hmm. is in holy matter. 
Jesús nos movió. 